Welcome to a better driving experience with the new Detroit DT12 automated manual transmission. By following the steps in this video, you'll be ready to maximize your performance, safety, and fuel efficiency when you take to the road. When you get behind the wheel of a truck equipped with the DT12, you may first notice that instead of a gear shifter, there's a selector stock. You can use this control to request manual shifts, change the driving mode, and set engine brake levels. These features will be explained in more detail shortly. Before starting the truck, place the battery disconnect switch in the on position and the transmission gear selector stock switch in the neutral position. Allow the gauges to sweep for about eight seconds before starting. To get into gear, first apply brake pressure, then move the rotating sleeve on the gear selector stock to D for drive or R for reverse. The DT12 will quickly and automatically detect the gradient you're starting on and select the appropriate starting gear ratio, usually second. In an unloaded or bobtail situation, the transmission may select up to fifth gear to start the vehicle rolling. Creep mode moves the vehicle at low speeds, improving maneuverability for parking, docking, and heavy traffic without having to press the accelerator. To begin using creep mode, release the service brake and briefly depress the accelerator pedal, thereby fully engaging the clutch. The vehicle's urge to move can then be felt. Following this and for the duration of the current driving cycle, creep mode is active. Once the vehicle is stopped via the service brake, the vehicle will begin to creep again without any accelerator pedal input. You can also select a lower gear while in creep mode for sliding trailer tandems or in stop and go traffic. And the transmission can be upshifted or downshifted with the shifter stock. Hill Start Aid is a key safety feature that holds the load on a grade greater than 3% for up to three seconds while the driver moves from the service brake to the throttle. Hill Start Aid and Creep Mode will work together if Creep Mode is active. When on a grade, Hill Start Aid will hold the vehicle long enough for Creep Mode to start slowly rolling the vehicle. Dashboard and audible warnings will alert you to clutch abuse, slipping or starting in an inappropriate gear. The clutch will not engage until foot pedal movement is acknowledged by the engine. Once you're rolling, the transmission detects the vehicle mass and, depending on the road grade, may choose to use the skip shift feature. Skip shifting quickly moves through the lower gears to save fuel and achieve optimal cruising speed. For example, you may start in second gear, skip to fourth, then to sixth and up to eighth before shifting through one gear at a time to top gear. Every skip shift improves acceleration. This happens smoothly thanks to the communication process between the engine and transmission. The transmission control module calculates the torque windup in the drive line and regulates with engine torque control. This reduces clutch wear and reduces the jerking motion at startup and protects the drive line. The DT12's optional kickdown feature enables you to increase acceleration when passing or driving on uphill grades. After reaching full throttle, a detent in the pedal will allow you to force a downshift and allow the shift points to move higher in the RPM band. Distinct driving modes let you choose the mode that works best for your current driving conditions. There are three driving modes, automatic economy, automatic performance, and manual. Automatic economy mode is the default and along with intelligent gear shifting is designed to save fuel. In automatic performance mode, gear shifts are designed for higher performance and are made at higher engine speeds. In manual mode, gear shifts are requested manually. The driving mode can be changed using the mode switch located on the end of the shift control. Press the switch quickly to activate the automatic drive mode 
or change between automatic economy and automatic performance modes. To activate the manual drive mode, press and hold the switch for about one second. In any driving mode, gear shifts can be requested manually. The DT12 enables you to manually shift by pulling the stock towards you to upshift or pushing it away from you to downshift. In manual mode only, a suggested shift is displayed to indicate the most economical gear available. The suggested shift is the number of up or down arrows from the current gear with a maximum of two up or down arrows. If you have two up arrows on the dash, you can pull the shifter stock towards you and hold to upshift to the highest gear available. The same method can be used for downshifting in manual mode. The DT12 will not allow you to select a gear that is not available. You will get an audible warning indicating the gear is unavailable when the shift is attempted and the DT12 will stay in its current gear. When driving on downgrades, the DT12 may enter e-coast mode. Here, the transmission temporarily disengages the clutch, so the vehicle maintains momentum while the engine efficiently idles. Engine RPMs will drop to 600 and an E will be visible in the gear display window. E-coast will remain active until the electronics require torque or there is any input from the driver. At that time, the DT12 will safely and seamlessly resume normal operation when required. E-Coast is only available in automatic economy driving mode. Engine braking with the DT12 can be set by rotating the shifter stock clockwise. The top position is the off or auto position, which will be explained shortly. At the three lower positions, the engine brake is on and the intensity, low, medium or high, increases with each step down. Engine brakes will work like any other compression braking. Once you let off the throttle, engine braking power will activate if set to low, medium or high. The second form of engine braking is the cruise control limit switch on the dash, labeled CC limit. To use this feature, cruise control must be set and manual engine braking must be in the off or auto position. The CC limit switch allows the driver to set cruise control overrun while descending a grade. The top position is the low limit and allows three miles per hour over your cruise set speed. The middle position is medium limit and allows five miles per hour over your cruise set speed and the bottom position is the infinite overrun and will turn off automatic engine braking. Once the vehicle has achieved the set overrun limit, engine braking will slow the vehicle to stay within the set limits. The engine brakes may also force a downshift of the transmission to improve engine braking performance. Manual engine braking with the shifter stock will always override the CC limit switch. If manual engine braking is used, cruise control will be canceled and engine braking will slow the vehicle down. When the shifter stock is returned to the auto position, cruise control will auto resume to your cruise set speed. This is why the off position is also the auto position when cruise control is set. Intelligent powertrain management is a key function of cruise control that uses terrain maps and GPS to provide predictive acceleration, shifting, e-coast, and effective torque management. The purpose of intelligent powertrain management is to use the momentum of the vehicle most efficiently by eliminating unnecessary fueling, engine braking, and shifting while minimizing the impact on travel time. This means IPM uses shifts, acceleration, engine braking, and e-coast to efficiently operate the powertrain. All these may all occur at different points than you would expect because IPM is constantly looking up to a mile ahead. Here are a few examples of how IPM plans the route ahead and manages the powertrain. When approaching a steep grade, IPM may increase road speed to allow the truck to climb the hill with the least downshifts possible. It will not increase the speed higher than the cruise control or road limit, whichever is greater. On the downhill side, it may coast 
or e-coast before the cruise speed is obtained. Before cresting a hill, IPM may engage e-coast or stop fueling the engine for two reasons. One, it knows it can crest the hill with the truck's momentum, and two, it plans for downhill acceleration. Another feature towards the bottom of a grade, IPM will delay the engine's brakes from engaging to increase the truck's momentum for the upcoming grade. IPM will also display your current speed and maximum speed range on the DT12's ICU display. If the road you're driving on is not covered by the IPM map, the cruise speed range will be replaced with the normal cruise control display. When driving in mountainous terrain, you can adjust the cruise control with the plus and minus buttons, which will also affect the cruise control range of IPM. As you know, you will get better fuel economy the more you use cruise control. Detroit encourages you to use cruise control whenever it is safe to do so. Another feature of the DT-12 is descent control, which will help you control your vehicle and engine speed when descending a grade. First, you must determine a speed that is appropriate for the load and grade you're encountering. To activate descent control, you have to first manually set the engine brakes with the shifter stock and then set cruise at your desired descent speed while the brakes are actively working. The level of engine braking will vary based on your road speed. If your road speed exceeds a manageable level for descent control, you might have to use the service brake or other manual interventions to control your speed. If the service brake is used during cruise descent, the cruise speed will need to be reset using the same procedure. When you have completed your descent, return the engine brake stock to the off auto position and your descent set speed will become your new cruise speed. Please remember, descent control does not use the CC limit switch and does not fuel the engine on the descent. An auto neutral feature electronically shifts the transmission into neutral if not done within five seconds after the truck parking brake is applied. An audible warning instructs the driver to select neutral. If the driver forgets to put the vehicle in neutral, a second audible warning tells the driver the transmission has selected neutral. To reselect a starting gear, just move the transmission select collar into neutral and then into drive or reverse with the service brake applied. We're confident that the new Detroit DT-12 will give you a significant advantage in making your driving experience smoother, safer, and more efficient than ever. Yeah.